CNN's ratings downslide continues with massive losses, get steamrolled by Fox News. There's no way around it, CNN had a dismal month of May in the ratings department. Not only was the mainstream media news outlet crushed in the ratings game by its top competitors Fox News and MSNBC but, compared to May 2017, CNN is running at a serious deficit. What are the details? According to Adweek, CNN was down 25% in primetime viewership compared to May 2017 and 20% down in daytime viewership compared to the same time period. The network's losses in the key 25 to 54 age demographic outpaced its overall losses. The losses amount to just an average of 835,000 average primetime viewers each night and 655,000 total viewers during the day in May. In the 25 to 54 demo, CNN averaged 265,000 viewers during primetime hours and 198,000 viewers during dayside hours. In a press release, CNN touted the numbers, CNN has second best May ever. Despite the relative success, CNN remains far behind Fox and MSNBC in overall viewership, during both primetime and dayside hours. More from Forbes, in ratings data released Wednesday by Nielsen Media Research, FNC extended its run of consecutive months at number one to a staggering 197, while building hitting another impressive milestone, Fox News Channel has now beaten every other network in basic cable for 23 months straight, based on total day ratings, with an average total day audience in May of 1.4 million viewers. In prime time, Fox News destroyed its competition, with an average total audience of 2.381 million viewers, compared to MSNBC's 1.384 million and CNN's 835,000. Among viewers 25 to 54, the group most coveted by advertisers, FNC shook off a challenge in recent months from MSNBC to claim a clear victory, 461,000 viewers, well ahead of MSNBC, 329,000, and CNN, 265,000, aside from the perception that CNN is fake news thanks to President Donald Trump. It's not immediately clear why CNN is facing such a steep rating slump. However, as The Blaze reported in May, CNN's ratings were already headed downhill as the network focuses on more anti-Trump stories.